Public facilities between maximizing their benefits and the danger of trespassing. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, it was he who brought you into being from the earth and made you inhabit it. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. In fact, Islam is a religion of building, construction, richness, and reform reformation. All divine messages came to promote these noble principles. As the Almighty Allah said, Moses said to his brother Aaron, take my place among my people, act rightly, and don't follow the way of those who spread corruption. Also reporting the speech of Prophet Shu'aib, Allah said, I only want to put things right as far as I can. I cannot succeed without Allah's help. I trust in him and always turn to him. Preserving public facilities established by the state is a form of reformation that benefits the whole society. This is because the right to benefit from these facilities is not confined to a particular person or a specific group. Rather, it is a right of every person in the society. Thus, as we all benefit from public facilities, we all must preserve, preserve them and prevent the wrongdoers from doing any attempt to corrupt them. Everyone who is entrusted to manage these public facilities must perform his work with sincerity and perfection. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah loves someone who, when he works, he performs, he performs in a perfect manner. In addition, those using these facilities must do so in a way that does not cause any damage or corruption to them. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, there should be neither harming nor reciprocating harm in that way. Cooperation is achieved between individual and society for the public interest, as the Almighty Allah said, help one another to do what is right and good. Don't help one another towards sin and hostility. Preserving public facilities is re religious. Preserving public facilities is a religious, patriarch, and human duty. It's not only about the preservation of these facilities, rather it is about working to maximize them and to contribute to their development. Our prophet, peace be upon him, said, seven deeds of a servant continue to be rewarded after his death while he is in his grave. Knowledge to be learned, construction, a canal, digging a well, planting a date bomb tree, building a mosque, handing down a written copy of the Quran, and leaving rituous child who seek forgiveness for him after his death. The phrase construction, constructing a canal applies to any waterway. Thus, it is our duty to clean and expand waterways not to do act of trespassing on fragrance. The same thing applies to public road, which we must preserve not to trespass or narrow them or throw waste in them. Even if one is not able to maximize the benefit of these facilities, he can call others to do so. As our prophet, peace be upon him, said, whoever called to something good, he is like the one who does it. Even if he is not able to do so, he has to avoid corruption them as the Almighty Allah said, Allah does not love the corruptors and Allah does not love corruption. Thus, we have to preserve these facilities and, and rationalize using them. So we have to preserve these facilities and rationalize using them. We affirm that 
the public facilities and properties such as institutions, schools, hospitals, roads, and means of transportation are entrusted to us to preserve. And we will be held accountable before Allah for this. Thus, is not permissible to corrupt. It's not permissible to corrupt them with any way, either by damaging or misusing them. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad, his companions, and his followers. There is no doubt that preserving public facilities and avoiding misusing them are among the manifestation of goodness and the ways of success. Therefore, our Prophet, peace be upon him, stated that pre prevention of harm is one of the branches of faith. As he be upon him said, faith has over 70 branches or over 60 branches, the, upper, the uppermost of which is the declaration that there is no God but Allah, and the humblest of which is removable of harmful up object from the road. That he be upon him also said, a true Muslim is the one from whose tongue and hands people are secure. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, I saw a person enjoying himself in a paradise because of the tree that he cut from the bath, which was a source of inconvenience to people. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, you should restrain yourself from doing wrong to people because it's a serve as a charity which you bestow upon yourself. How much do we need? to be aware of the importance of public facilities. How much do we need to be aware of the importance of public facilities and the necessity of prevent, preserving them through implanting a sense of a religious and national responsibility to preserve our homeland, protect its capacity, and develop its resources. As the Almighty Allah says, for those who are conscious of Allah and live righteously, there will be no fear, nor will they grave. O oh Allah, we ask you to protect Egypt. O oh Allah, we ask you to protect Egypt and all other countries of the whole world. Thank you so much.